Odin is the most powerful god in Asgard, and he's the chief of the Aesir. Odin is sometimes called the All Father or the Wanderer. He has in fact many names because he has taken many shapes on various occasions. Odin looks like a sorcerer and may have been inspiration to Gandalf from Tolkien's books Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Odin is associated with healing and death, battle, sorcery and a runic alphabet. He is even thought of to be the leader of the souls. The modern word Wittenstay is named after Odin and it comes from the Germanic word Wotan which means Odin. So Wittenstay is Odin's day. Odin lives in the house called Valaskjalf. In this house Odin has a tall tower and in the top of this tower he has a throne called Hilskjalf and from here Odin can see throughout all the Nile worlds. Odin is the grandson of Buri, the first Aesir, and he's the son of the half god, half giant Beskla and Bor. Odin has two brothers, Vili and Ve, and together with his brothers, Odin created the world according to Norse mythology. Odin is married to the beautiful goddess Frigg, and together they have the sons Balder and Hurd. But Odin also have other sons, some of the giantess who lives in Jotunheim, the land of the giants, is so beautiful that even Odin could not resist him. So Odin has on many occasions traveled to Jotunheim to be with one of those beautiful giantess. This has resulted in that Odin became the father of Thor, the god of thunder. With the giantess called Jor, which means Earth. You may also know her under the name Fjörgyn. Odin and the giantess Grit also have a son named Vida. And Odin and the giantess Rind also have a son named Vali. Odin is able to shapeshift just like Loki and he can shapeshift into an animal or a human anytime he wants. Odin mostly speaks in phrases and riddles, and Odin's voice is so soft that all who hears him speak thinks all he says is true. Odin can just say one word and he will be blowing out the flames of a fire or tone down the waves of the sea. Odin is seldom active in battle, but when he is, he can blind his enemies, make them deaf, horror-struck or make their weapons hit like sticks. Odin can make his own men as strong as a bear and make them go berserk. Odin can predict the fate of all humans and see the past. He even knows that one day Ragnarok will start and there is nothing he can do to prevent it. Odin has the ability to travel to remote lands in his or in the memories of others. Odin can send people to their death or give them an illness. Some Vikings sacrificed to Odin and gave him good promises in the hopes to get insight into whether they could win a battle or not. Odin has a horse named Sleipnir, which means the sliding one. It is a grey, eight-legged horse. This horse is a magic horse, and it is the most beautiful of all the horses. Sleipnir is the symbol of the wind and has the marks of hell upon it. Sleipnir can just as easy gallop through the air as on land. Sleipnir was born by Loki when he shapeshifted into a mare and used the stallion of the giant builder to become pregnant. The giant builder was the one who built the walls around Asgard, the home of the gods. Sleipnir was later given to Odin as a gift from Loki. 
Odin has two ravens, which is a spiritual part of himself. They are called Hygin, which means thought, and Munin, which means memory. Odin sends them out every morning to bring him the latest news from all over the world. They always come back each and every evening and whisper to Odin what they have heard and seen. When they are not exploring the world, they sit next to Odin on his throne in Asgard. Odin also has two wolves, Giri the various and Frigi the greedy one. Odin always gives them all his food from the table. Odin does not need any food to live. Wine is all he wants. When Odin is walking around in the streets of Asgard, both Giri and Frigi will follow Odin. Odin has a magical spear named Gungnir. This magical spear will always hit its mark and will always kill. Gungnir means the swaying one. It was made from Yggdrasil's sacred ash, and Odin has carved his secret runes onto Gungnir. Odin also has a magical ring named Draupnir. Every ninth day, eight new rings will drop out of Draupnir. The eight new rings are of equal quality as Draupnir. The name Draupnir means the dripper. The ring was forged by the dwarf brothers Brook and Eitri. The ring was one of the three gifts for the gods, which also included Thor's hammer, Mjölnir, and Gulenbursti. The dwarves made these three gifts in a bed with Loki. They had said that Brooker and Eitri could not make better gifts than the three that was made by the sons of Eivaldi. In the end, Mjölnir, Thor's hammer, won the bet for Brook and Eitri. Loki used a trick to get out of this bet for his head. Since Loki had only bet his head, he said they could not cut his head off because they were not allowed to hurt his neck, which was not part of the deal. This made the dwarf brothers furious, so they sealed his lips with some iron wire. When Odin's son Balder died, the ring was placed on his funeral pyre by Odin. Odin only has one eye. This is because he sacrificed one eye to Mima. This was the price just to take a drink from the well, Mima's well. And because of this, Odin gained the wisdom of Mima, and Odin became the wisest of all the gods and goddesses in Asgard. This is because anyone who drinks the water from this well will gain the wisdom of Mima. The name Mima means the rememberer or the wise one. Mima is the only one who guards the well. But Mima has no body, he's only a head. So I guess he will have to call after help if someone tries to take a drink. One day, Odin decided he wanted to learn the secrets of the runes. So he stabbed himself with his own spear Gungnir and hung himself on Yggdrasil, the tree of life. After nine days and nine long cold nights of fasting and suffering, Odin then fell screaming from Yggdrasil after had the secrets of the runes revealed to him, but only for a glimpse of an eye. The word runes means secrets. I hope you enjoyed this video about Odin. Hit the subscribe button for a new video about Norse mythology every Saturday. Thank you for watching.